The opponent is defending the neck. We bring the right hand inside of the arm, control the back of the elbow around the triceps area. We lean forward to apply pressure with the chest, controlling the arm. We bring the knee close to the head and we bring the right foot close to the other side. We put our left hand on the floor. We bring the body weight forward, pass the left leg around. And with the left hand, we start pulling the opponent's arm all the way back until we get the arm lock. Arm lock from the mount. The opponent is trying to avoid we get to his neck. And we cannot pull the arm out. What we do is we push the elbow all the way in and we bring the left leg close to the head, putting pressure. Then we bring the right leg around and we create pressure with both legs and our hip. With the left hand, we bring it all the way under and we grab our own gi at the collar level. This way we control the opponent's arm. We lean forward to apply pressure and with the right hand we're gonna control the opponent's left leg. Then we roll over and we end the nap on the other side. From the mount, the opponent keep the elbows in. There's no way we can get in there. So we push the elbow in, we bring the left leg around, putting pressure with the left knee. The knee close to the head, we bring the right foot all the way to apply pressure to the neck. We control the elbow, bring our left arm under the opponent arm, grab the collar, we apply the pressure applying pressure on the head. We lean forward as we use our right hand to grab the opponent's left leg or by grabbing the pant. We turn our head to the side and we roll all the way until we get the arm lock. From the guard, the opponent has both hands on the floor. We use the right hand to enter inside of the opponent's left arm. Then we use our left hand to pull all the way and bring the opponent's arm to the inside, locking it at our neck level. We move the hip outside and we bring the right leg to apply pressure for an arm lock. The opponent, once again, with 